Wait for the day, Lord, be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is Tuesday, 31st of March and 5th week of the Lent. I invite you all for this Mass today. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicate to, to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to the bypass to the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my pr cry come to you. A blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your heart and the lips that you may proclaim his word worthy and well. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I'm going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, it is not what men eat, but what they digest that makes them strong. Not what we gain, but what we save that makes, makes us rich. Not what we read, but what we remember that makes us learned. Not what we preach, but what we practice that makes us Christians. Jesus in today's Gospel says, I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. I always do what is pleasing to him. Through these words, Jesus is using the image of an ambassador, that he is the Father's ambassador to the world and to us. An ambassador is an authorized representative of a country. He speaks not in his own name, but on behalf of the one who sent him, whose whole duty and responsibility is to interpret the mind of the one sending faithfully to those to whom he is sent. Christ, as Father's ambassador, fits into this image because he proclaims the facts of the gospel and its promises. Jesus urges us sinners to receive God's reconciliation and his message of the good news of the kingdom. The figure of ambassadorship highlights the authority he has and he is faithful to, to his commission as the one being sent by the Father. We Christians are Christ ambassadors. Also, 
are the ones being sent by him to speak and do on his behalf we say and do not for our own conception but for the growth of the kingdom of god here on earth so that god shall be known to all my dear friends we have a big responsibility and commitments to do and to accomplish and this responsibility is the god's work of eternal life which is offered to all with his guidance and help well lived life or examples of good christians can offer in the past so many christians died for their faith they have paid the final price for their commitments and not only that the likes of st francis of assisi st francis xavier and st mother teresa like so many saints they inspired christians people christian people to risk their life in order to change people and the society nowadays the thousands and even millions of christians quietly share their selfless acts of faith that mark their lives as followers of christ therefore let us reflect that are we too like those christians Today's mass is being offered for the intention of Ellen Sikorsky. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. for the your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and our cup human hands it will become for us the bread of life bless be god for your bread bless the lord god of all creation for the your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine work of human hands it will become for us a spiritual drink blessed be god for ever with the humble spirit and handed heart may we be accepted by you o lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you lord god o lord wash my sins and cleanse me from my iniquities Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wonders power of the cross your judgment on the world is now 
revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who all who died in a mercy welcome them into the light of her face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and to ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy Lord, that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, let us join together to say this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say together this prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph. As you let the Holy Family watch over our families, help our family and all families to know and to share God's love. In our family relationships, we may find healing and seek to be holy. May our Father help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for Him. As foster Father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our Priest. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, we raise Jesus, the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.